Hello, hello everyone, Ryan here. Welcome back to another video. I'm in the backyard today and every season I set a brand new fish pond thing, whatever, and I have a new project. And this year I'm trying to grow out more plants using these little dirted style Tupperware with a sand cap. And they are being super, super productive in terms of having a bunch of random stuff in here. Like, look at, there's, I don't, yeah, you guys probably can't see it, but there's like red worms in there. There's snails there's snails doing the dirty i'm sorry for disturbing you and oh my god look how big this snail is look at this nice little pond snail but also look at these little jelly things on the dwarf sag yeah these are all the dwarf sag um that i left over from that last fish tank video set up with the dino wallstead dirty tank and essentially i just put them all in here but these little jelly things are just the snail pond eggs the only issue that i ran into this year starting out my backyard pond again is that there's a bunch of mosquitoes and there's no fish in here that can really get rid of them look at all of those little mosquito larvae um these are all like gonna come out and be like annoying little mosquitoes and look at my arm already yeah that's a nice juicy little bump it's so itchy and i am so tired of like actually having these things so what i'm going to do today is i'm going to go out i'm going to take you guys with me and we are going to be collecting some mosquito fish in the wild native fish let's get into it let's go so i really like these vlog style videos because i can like get some exercise and it's not just me sitting in front of a tank and you guys can come along with me on these journeys there's so much like background stuff that i do for my videos that no one ever gets to see because i always cut it so that it's just like a bunch of tank shots so i'm super excited and even though it's a spring day i'm wearing this like really really thick orange jacket because i'm kind of deep in the woods right now and i want to make sure that like you know Someone can find me, dead or alive. So if like they were doing a drone shot and I was lost, they could actually find where I am. And uh, yeah, let me put you guys on my head mount and I'll show you guys what I have with me today. So you guys, if you ever wanna do the same thing, you can go ahead and uh, follow my lead. So let's get into it. All right, so we've arrived at our first collecting site. It was about 15 minutes from the parking lot. And guys, take a look, all I have is a net a bucket i have a little bit of a plastic cup right here just to see like the actual fish themselves i can already see a little bit of ripples over there so i know they're here and lastly i have a bubble box an aerator just to keep the fish healthy and oxygenated so what we're gonna do is i gotta i'm gonna go all the way down there and i gotta like scoop them up real fast because they're gonna run as soon as they see me i can see them it's only gonna take a little bit of time oh Oh yeah, got some. All right, let me take a look at these. Nice little gambusia, nice little mosquito fish. Yeah, we can just get a couple of these and we'll bring them right back. I can even see if I can get some more like that. Oh yeah, I got way more. Look at that. All of these nice little gambusia fish. Let me, uh, let me get them settled in and I'll show you guys what they look like. So here we are, look at all of these little tiny gambusias. And they look a lot like guppies and you can actually sex them just like guppies. So the female ones are gonna have that black dot on their belly. The males are gonna be much thinner. And they also have that um, little fin that gets changed out. So let's get some more. Um, they're a little afraid of me, so they're kind of just farther out now. So I have to go find them. Now take a look. I want you guys to take a look at all of these weeds over here. Look at that right here. This is um, a plant that, that a lot of people say is in invasive. So it looks, it reminds me of a parrot's feather. Uh, there's an actual scientific name right here. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that. It starts with an M, but yeah, I mean, just some of the things that you can see when you go out and collect stuff in like this random little lake area. It looks super cool actually. And there's a dragonfly. There's reeds yeah if i was like maybe we should do another like collecting plant video the next time and 
and and and since like i live local to here it's not going to be like that big of a deal for me to come back here another time and i know we already did a video like that but but we'll just keep going i also found a bobber i think someone's been fishing here we're going to go ahead and just put that in in the little in the little bucket and bring that home there's a bunch of little frogs here too And like I didn't see any of them swimming, but just by just by blindly netting stuff, I also found another one. Where is he? There he is. See him right there? Just right oh, he jumped. Let's get him in here. In you go. There you go. Alright, let's make sure there's nothing else hiding here. We'll dump that back out. Yeah, so just Man, this is so much fun. I can just do that and wash it just a little bit. See if I find anything. Nothing. Oh, it's a spider. Oh, God. I did not expect to see a spider there. I definitely freaked out. Now look at all that plant life. Nothing. I don't see anything. Alright, let's hit another spot because I think I think we've scared enough of the fish away here that they're probably not coming back for a while. It's like I know people like fish here. I don't know if there's any fish. But another thing is that. I do want you guys to know that that was all the immersed growth. Take a look at, oh my God, there's so many frogs here. But take a look at the submerged growth. Let me see if I can take you guys down. Look at that. Y'all see that? That's a submerged growth. It's like, it's like, it's colorful actually. So, so it's going to look so good in a tank. Yeah, we might have to come back here and collect some more, some more things. All right, so I'm walking back to the parking lot and I just wanted to let you know, guys, sometimes you have to really check the regulations. There's some, some fish that you can't keep and uh, thankfully for the mosquito fish, uh, there, there's, there's not much regulations on them, at least where I'm from. So definitely check your local regulations. You can find them on like the, the Wildlife Commission for your state or wherever you are. And uh, sometimes you need a fishing license to collect certain fish and you need to check the rules. So just don't go out here and just collect random stuff because sometimes you can get in trouble. So the next place I am at is actually at my neighborhood retention pond. And the great thing about this place is just a million of them. We already have an equipment failure though, which is that... Okay, those aren't... Okay, those, that's a giant freaking spider. That is scary. I do not want to be part of that. We'll just check around the, the shoreline. I already have an equipment failure. My air pump stopped working, which absolutely sucks. So we're just gonna have to uh, hurry this up and get home. Um, just, <sighs> that was a lot of walking, man. Bro, what happened here? I'm not gonna touch that, but it looks like, like some definitely died here. You can see like the little claws and everything. That's sad, rest in peace. All right guys, we're back at the actual pond itself, but take a look at all of these nice critters inside. So look at that, I think that's a blood worm almost. Almost looks like a blood worm right there. Yeah, it's just chilling. It's another smaller one in the center of the screen. Look at that. Look at all that life. Yeah, the mosquito fish are going to be super happy in here. These little jelly things are the pond snail eggs that I have in here. Look at look at these no, nice little pond snails. They're so big already. Yeah. I mean, I don't think the I don't think they're going to get eaten 
by the mosquito fish so we're good on that end and then lastly just like these are all the plants that are left over from my uh my, my low-tech setup that we did last video and the dwarf sag that we had is already starting to flower here yeah it's that high sunlight that really 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 bright light from the sun is doing wonders for these plants so we're going to sink that back down and then we are going to add in the mosquito fish all right y'all yeah here's all the fish i actually got a bit of that just just to see what it would look like in our little pond let's see how many we have one two three four five six seven eight nine so we've got nine fish that's a lot of fish we got a little water bug or something so we're gonna let's go ahead and get them all in there i don't really mind if um if that water goes in there just some extra things some extra like Boom, 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 boom. All righty, just some extra microorganisms. It's the, it's a pond, not a, not that bad. Ooh, this midge here, this thing right here, I think is the, is the, is the blood worm. They make, they're the blood worm things. It's pretty cool. All right, so you can already see there's one right here. And uh, yeah. I hope they all have a good time. Look at the surface.